Hi, I'm Kevin America, and today we are going to talk about our first verb tense. Now remember, what is a verb tense? It's a way that we can say when something happened, or is going to happen, or is happening, or will have been happening, you see? And we're going to begin at the beginning with simple present tense. Easy, right? Well, it might surprise you just a little bit. So let's start here. This is now. Yeah, right now. This is before. That's the past. And now we draw it into the future. This is our timeline, okay? And remember, this is now. Okay, let's talk about when something happens. We use the simple future tense to talk about a habit that we have, okay? Use number one is a habit, right? I play tennis. She swims at the beach, right? Now this is a way to say, um, yesterday I played tennis, uh, and last week I played tennis, and the week before that I played tennis, next week I'm going to play tennis, and the week after that I'm going to play tennis, you see? It's a way to say, I just do that regularly, or habitually, as a habit. I play tennis. Now, use number two is something, we don't need it to be that long, uh, use number two is something we call a fact or generalization. A fact or generalization. Something we're just saying is true. Whales swim. I don't mean sometimes they swim and sometimes they don't. And sometimes they swim and sometimes they don't. No! Whales swim. I'm just saying that's true. Let's do fish. Everybody knows this. Fish swim. That's just true. That's something we're calling a fact. Or a generalization. Okay, now let's look at use number three. You might be surprised about this one, okay? Use number three is something a little more, let's, yeah, something a little more uh, interesting. Watch this. Future! But why am I using a simple present tense to talk about the future? Well, there's actually some rules to this, okay? Check it out. It's a scheduled event in the near future, okay? A scheduled event in the near future. So remember, it has to be sort of already scheduled. And the sentence I usually use for this is, her train leaves at six. Hmm. So let's say it's four o'clock right now. So in two hours from now, it's going to be six. And that's when her train will leave. That's right. You can use a, a future tense to talk about this, or because it's a scheduled event in the near future, then we usually just use the simple present tense. Her train leaves at six o'clock. As easy as that, right? And that's the simple present tense. Thank you.